Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Prith Bhushan Mishra, Microsoft MVP. It is a third video on Visual Studio tricks that will add more power to your arsenal. In the last two videos, we saw that how can we insert some very common repetitive code in few keystrokes. It is not just writing the code from scratch. Many a times we need to enhance the existing code base or add some more functionality, debug or review the code of others and we find that code is not easily readable. These tips can make your life very easy. Tip 1. Code Alignment Most of the times I find few hundred lines of code written in one single file and the code is scattered here and there. Aligning makes the code easily readable and understandable. So how easily can we align a scattered code? Let's see that. Here I am using ASP.MVC default project template for the demos. So in this file you can see the code is completely scattered, written here and there and very tough to read. So for the alignment, we can just press Ctrl, K and D and see how the code looks like. So let's move to another tip. Tip 2. Comment and uncomment the code. While testing the code and few other scenarios, we are required to comment or uncomment the code quickly and using mouse for it is a bit painful. Let's see that. To comment and uncomment the code, we can select the lines and use Ctrl, K and C to comment the code and to uncomment, Ctrl, K and U. See how fast it is? Let's move to tip 3. Tip 3. Moving the code. Many times, many a times we add some additional logic at certain position in the file but later realize that this is not the right place for it and move the code upside and downside. Let's see that how quickly can it be done. To move the code up and down, we just need to select the code and then press Ctrl up arrow and then we can easily move the code up and to down, Alt down key. See how easy it is? Let's move to another tip. Tip 4. Go to the definition and back. Let's go to Visual Studio. Many a times we use F12 to go to the definition but what if you want to go back? So let's press F12 and now press Ctrl hyphen and you are back. Tip 5. Resolving a class. So let's just move to Visual Studio and see there. Resolving any class is another item that we use to do very often. And right click and resolve is not a simple way to resolve. So let's see here. So here I am going to resolve X results. So for that just press Ctrl dot. And you get all the options. You just select whatever you want to add and that's it. Simple enough, right? Okay. Tip 6. Refactoring. Refactoring is required many a times while writing a code or doing a review. It helps in writing better and maintainable code. So let's see that. So to refactor a code, select the lines of the code that you want to refactor. Press Ctrl R and then M. And see, now you need to write your new method name. So say, say, say get view after sign and press OK. Now you have another method created get view after signing and that get replaced. Let's cool, right? Let's move to new tip. Tip 7. Find all references. 
if you have written some common method which is used at many places then this tip is very useful now see you want to make a change in that method so before making it you want to see the places where it is used so let's see that now say we have a method add errors and we want to make a change in it so before making a change we need to find all references so for that press shift F12 and it shows it is used at least three places so before making a change in the method we need to go to these methods where it is used and see why it is used and accordingly we can make a change now let's move to another tip tip 8 select parsing code from multiple lines or in another words select code in rectangular format so did you select code from multiple lines where each line is selected partially it was supported in visual studio for long but rarely used and it can be very useful at certain situations so let's see that so to select code in rectangular format we need to press control and then drag so now we, i have selected all the public i can press delete so see how easy it is so this is a very basic example very simple example but it can be certainly used at various places and i am using it lot of times so let's move to another tip tip 9 expanding and collapsing the code if you have a file which have so many methods so it's tough to locate the methods or regions so collapsing all is a good idea to locate easily so let's see that how easily can we do that so here all the code is in expanded format so to collapse all we need to press control m and o and now to reverse we need to press control m and x tip 10 copy paste multiple times you must have used copy paste a lot but do you know how many copy visual studio remember it is 20 so whether you use cut or copy let's see that so here we have three lines of code now i am going to copy one by one each and then paste so select control c now select control c now select control c now when we are going to paste that we need to press control shift v the so control shift v we got the last one that we copied then again the same key second last then again the same key third last right now let's move to next line now again press the same key we got what we pasted now again control shift v first one same key second one now move to next line now when we are going to press the same key will will get the same again the second one again the third one now you can see how can we copy multiple items and then paste it so i hope you have enjoyed the tips and you are going to use in your daily routine thank you for taking the time to watch this video